Hello friends, so my name is Prakaran, you are watching Tech Now. Uh, so in our earlier video we saw how to automate your home I was this that that was a demonstration and today in this video we are going to learn how to do that particular setup for your own house so basically let's start with the basics of home automation how the home automation actually works okay uh, so here is the basic schematic of how everything is working uh, so for example we are giving our command to Alexa to turn on or turn on or turn off any particular device okay and this is the eco dot it is connected to internet and it accepts the commands which we are giving to eco dot and then this particular eco dot gets access to the syndic server syndic server is basically we are going to create one id in our syndic server and it's basically used for switching uh, then again when we send a command from our eco dot to syndic server it replies back then again it goes to the router and with our router we have connected our ESP8266 device for those of you who do not know what the, it, this is actually it's basically an internet of thing device that is connected to our relays and our relays are in turn connected to the devices so this is the complete sequence whatever command you are going to give to Alexa it will go to the Cynric server it comes back and then that is processed by our microcontroller and this will in turn switch the relays which will turn your device on and off it is as simple as that so basically this would be a long video and i would like to break this into three parts in the first part we will see how to create your id in our syndric server how to create your switches so guys first we need to understand what are the switches we need we need actually what is the switching we require then only we can go ahead so first of all we will create our id in our syndric server and then we will create the switches then we will go to the eco dot app we will go there and then we will enable the syndric skill and we will import the switches that are created in this server so we this eco dot and syndric server will be synced then we will move to our esp8266 and program it based on the switches that we have created in the Cynric server then we will test our this circuit so this will be the basically second video in which we will learn how to set up this particular uh, ESP8266 with the relays how, and how to program it for those of you who do not know how to do that I will keep it very very simple and you will be able to understand each and every bit of it if you have any doubts you can comment on the link below and then we will learn how to connect this relay to our devices guys this is a bit tricky portion because this involves electrical and you need to have the knowledge of electrical before starting ahead i would ask you to just view the entire video and then do it accordingly so let's start okay so first of all we will go to our synric.com so this is the home page of synric you if you have your own id then you log in otherwise you can register from this link you can type of your name email id and password and submit you will have your syndic account in this case i have already created my account so i will just go ahead with the login so guys when i log in to my syndic account you can see i'll have one api secure key this is required in our later stages when we need to program our esp8266 and these are the different switches which we have created to learn how to create a switch for example if we are talking about fan we are talking about light we are talking about bulb so these are particular switches which we need to create we can also create modes for example i have demonstrated in the earlier video that we can switch on the studio switch on everything switch off everything uh, so we need to first of all create the switches in this case to create a switch we just go to the add button for example we are going to type uh, let's suppose television okay and description we will also type it device type guys you can select anyone for example I have uh, uh, selected as a TV then we will click save when we click save you will see that this particular device has already been created you will have a device ID 
and you will have that particular thing this is the first thing which we need to do whatever switches you are having you have to go to syndrick.com and create the switches this is the first and foremost step next we will go to the amazon app to configure our switches so this is the site which we are going to go so we will log in with our username password that is the Amazon user and password okay uh, so here we will go to our smart home tab in our smart home you can see that uh, now there is no skill that has been activated so we will click here and go to the enable the skills button then we are going to search Senric I'll just open the Synric and enable this app, particular app. So when you enable it, you will find the username and password that we have just created our account. We'll log in with that particular ID. Okay. And then we will click login. Okay. So this Amazon Alexa app and Synric has accounts have been linked. Okay. So what we will do is we will first discover devices. So this can take some time and all the devices that are being that you have earlier created in the Synric app will be available here. So guys, this is the first step which you need to understand that switches should sync. Otherwise, our system would won't work. We have to understand that the switches and this Alexa app have to be integrated so that we can give our voice command to Alexa and then correspondingly it will send the signals to Synric server. Okay, so you see all the devices that I have earlier created central light, bulb, focus light, window light, television, sleeping mode, fan, all these devices have successfully been registered. So now we can use them. Okay, then where well, this will be the first part of the video, and this, this particular step will be done. In the next video, we will see how to use ESP8266 and how to wire it and uh, connect it to our release and our uh, bug converter and then how to program it basically thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do subscribe and press the notification icon below in case you have any doubt or queries you can comment on the link below